the RX test appears to be a valid soil test. The yard mastery test is a is a flawed test that may or may not have any value in turf grass science. Um, but because there's been no published correlation on it at all with any nutrient at all, as far as I know, there's really no good reason at all to use that test or to rely upon its results to apply nutrients to turf grass. So we have apples and oranges. We have a comparison of, say, the heliocentric model of the planets <laughs> in Earth compared to the flat Earth model. And well, they could, they, they might correlate. Well, what, what happens on the, on the heliocentric model correlates with the flat earth model here. It might, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. The heliocentric model is the model that is an established fact. The flat earth model is ridiculous and not proven at all. And that's what happens with these two tests. The Malik 3 extract or any other valid extract is proven to be accurate and proven to be correlated well. And the ion exchange bead is, has not been shown to be well correlated. And as far as I know, there's no published work at all in, in turf grass science on manganese or magnesium or any of that other, any other element besides nitrate on turf grasses. So we're starting off with a, 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 a false equivalency. They're, they're equating these two tests as if they're somehow both valid and they're not valid. Only one is valid. 